Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we are going to walk you through how to download a GoodNotes uh, template or a PDF and import it into GoodNotes. Now, before we continue, I do want to bring to your attention that um, I have uh, quite a bit of GoodNotes uh, templates available for you uh, on my website, which I'm just going to show you um, so that uh, you can go and download um, the templates that you're interested in. Um, absolutely free. Um, so this is the website where those templates are located. And um, you can just um, go to the website and um, just uh, navigate through and explore uh, templates. But uh, if you go to planner templates, um, there are a whole bunch of uh, different free planner templates. Um, there are digital templates uh, to be uploaded into GoodNotes or Notability. And there's also, also printable planner templates that you print out and you can um, fill out with a pen and paper. Okay, so um, let's get started with um, how to import templates into GoodNotes. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a new notebook in your GoodNotes app. And um, before we uh, move forward, I just want to make a note um, that uh, we are using GoodNotes 5. GoodNotes 5 is free to download um, and it does come with some standard templates uh, for a um, cover and for pages. Um, now you'll know the difference between uh, GoodNotes 5 and previous GoodNotes applications uh, from the GoodNotes icon. Um, the, what you'll notice is on the GoodNotes um, version 5, it'll have like a squiggly line here at the bottom, whereas the previous app um, version um, had a straight line. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open GoodNotes now. And um, what you'll get when you open up GoodNotes is you'll get this documents um, screen. Um, you'll notice at the bottom, um, you're able to navigate um, between documents, search, shared, and favorites. Um, but to create a new notebook, you'll go to the documents screen and um, you'll notice um, here that um, there'll be a uh, new uh, um, to create a new notebook. So we're going to go ahead and um, click that and you'll get a pop-up with different uh, selections. So you're going to go ahead and create and select notebook. And um, what you'll do is uh, you will select um, uh, a cover and these are the different covers that you can um, choose from. Um, so you'll have some, um, you know, ones with designs on them um, that you can choose from. Um, you'll have colored ones. Um, you'll have ones that are black and white and so forth. So you can keep scrolling down. So um, I'll just go ahead and select um, any one. So I'll just select that one as my cover. 
and then you, you would select um, the paper. Um, so uh, you'll have different choices for paper. paper. You'll have uh, blank, dotted, squared paper, ruled narrow, ruled wide, and um, for the purposes of this uh, exercise, I'll select uh, ruled wide. Um, then what you'll do is you'll come up here and you will uh, name your notebook. So I'm just going to name my notebook um, sample notebook. Um, and um, before we move forward, uh, I just want to make a note that um, the cover and paper that you've selected, um, when you create a, your next notebook, um, that's what, um, what will be here by default. Um, now, if you are going to use this in landscape mode, then you can also select paper that's um, in uh, landscape mode instead of portrait, okay? Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and create the sample notebook by pressing the button here. And so it automatically opens it up. And um, now the other thing I, I should just let you uh, know or note that um, you won't be able to like to write on this yet. Um, in order to write, you're going to have to press the pen and ink tool up here. So when you press it, um, it opens up a uh, menu with a whole bunch of different options for inking. Uh, and now you'll be able to um, note-take with your, with your pen. So um, I'll just write this is a sample. Page, um, you can come here and you can highlight. And um, if you want to add a new page, what you need to do is you'll need to close the inking or stop inking. So you'll come up here and select this. Um, it looks like a, an X, but it's actually like a pen um, crossed off. So you'll se select that. And then to add a page, you can just um, simply uh, pull to the right and it, you'll get a message saying add new page and you can say yes. Okay. Now the other things you can do is you can also um, write on your cover page. Um, so to do that again you have to press the inking and then you can press the pen, you can press the color that you want to ink in and you can just say um, this uh, is my sample notebook. All right, so that's pretty much it for creating a notebook uh, using the uh, basic templates that the GoodNotes app comes from. Okay, so now we're going to go through the steps of um, how you would go about importing a GoodNotes template when you have downloaded it from your computer. So the most important thing is, is that when you download the template 
whether it's from an Etsy shop or or somewhere else, um, you save it somewhere where it's accessible from your iPad. F for example, um, if you have OneDrive, you save it in your OneDrive, um, or you can email it to yourself, and then you can access your emails from your iPad and save it onto your iPad. So um, I've gone ahead and downloaded a template um, in my OneDrive and I'm going to show you how I import it into GoodNotes right now. So what I would do is I would go to uh, New and I would come down to um, Import. And now what I would do is I would go to find my um, template that I've downloaded. So I'm just going to go to my files going to go to my documents I'm going to, and I'm going to search for where I saved that template okay so here it is and I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to press open and it will automatically open it into my um, GoodNotes app. So here it is. Um, now um, I've got the inking um, on, but I know that because I've got the, um, the inking uh, menu here. So I'm just going to turn that off for a second so that I can navigate through um, the planner. So here is the planner. It's a um, uh, colorful, cute cat pastel planner. Uh, it's got weekly planning options. Um, there's a daily planner. There's a monthly planner, which you can go ahead and put the dates in there. Now this planner has got um, the months of the year, uh, January to December. And what's nice about this planner is that um, when you select uh, one of the months, it jumps to that month. So for example, if I select April, it'll jump to April. Um, so that's what's so, so nice about this one. Now I just want to let you know that this, if you're interested in downloading this cute cat uh, pastel planner, I'll leave the link in the description of the video. Um, so that you can um, go uh, to the um, post to download this uh, planner. Okay, so that's how you uh, import a template that you have downloaded from your Windows computer. All right. So now we're going to go through the steps of how you would uh, download, um, whether it's, um, again, from an Etsy shop or a website, how you would download directly from your Apple device and then import it into um, GoodNotes. Um, so what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Safari just to um, show you how I would do that. So um, Okay, so I'm going to download this, um, my meal planner calendar. Um, so here it is. Uh, so I'm just going to select download. And again, this is, this is a free planner too. I'll leave the link in the video description as well. So I'm just, just going to select download. Okay, so it's downloaded 
into my Apple device and it's opened it up automatically but now we need to bring it into GoodNotes. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, press the share button up here and um, you should see GoodNotes in your um, in your shared in the apps um, that you can share um, documents and pictures. If you don't see it then you can just press more and you can just scroll and find good notes and here it is. So it's gonna uh, automatically bring up this pop-up where um, it'll ask you where you want to save it in good notes um, and you just want to make sure that it's saving it to a location rather than appending it to another um, notebook. Okay, so over here we can see that it's saving it to um, documents, which is fine. So I'm just going to say import to uh, documents. And it'll automatically open it up again. So um, uh, for this one, again, if you scroll over, you'll see the different uh, pages. Um, what's nice about this uh, particular um, planner, uh, now these are planners, I mean obviously if you don't want to download a planner, you want to just download pages, custom pages, you can do that too. Uh, the whole process works the same way, uh, but these are two planners. Um, what's nice about this planner is that you've got tabs at the bottom and these allow you to just navigate to um, to and jump to, to different sections of the notebook. So if I want to go to meal ideas, I'll go to meal ideas. If I want to go to the weekly meal planner, I can go to the weekly meal planner. Um, if I want to do a monthly view, I can look at the monthly view. If I want to do a year overview, I can just jump to the year overview. And um, I've also got like a notes section. So that's just a general idea of how this works. And again, to you're not going to be able to write unless you select the inking um, icon. Okay, and so now um, you'll be able to to write. Okay. Um, I'm just going to undo that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, you can leave them down in the comments. Um, and again, um, this planner and the other QCAT planner. I'll leave the links in the description for you guys so that you can go to the website and post and download them uh, if you want to use them. All right, thanks for joining and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like buttons to see more content like this.